this it is Tuesday, I think either April 9th or 10th. I think it's 10th. I apologize if I'm wrong. But anyway, I'm getting ready for work. I'm almost ready. Anyway, I forgot to fill you in the last few days. I apologize. As I said, like, like honestly, I don't want to always record every day if there's nothing to record. So I just make it as random as I said as possible. And, well, the other day I did forget to record because, one, I wanted to make sure it got on the scale without falling again. So I might just tell you how I did in future vlogs. I end up losing about almost five pounds. I was 184, like, when I fell, and when I checked at the doctor's, and I'm 179. So, it's so far going good doing the calorie thing my aunt's telling me to do. It's hard sometimes because there's sometimes when you really crave something, but you gotta think, oh, the calories. Like with Burger King, for example, I have to, even with that, I have to think of the calories, obviously. And we rounded it up to about 800 or 850, just, you know, to be safe. And as long as I don't get it all the time. But anyway, I did, like, I lost weight, which was good. And let's hope I can continue going down that path and maybe getting used to not eating so much and thinking my meals ahead. I think for me, like, it's easier when I have it in my head and understand it. Like, and it's not just last minute. Like, when my aunt said to me, okay, starting tomorrow, you can only have this or whatever, I freaked out because it was very sudden right and we never really had a good discussion on it it was just that and but when we decided to sit down and talk about okay what would be good like how many calories and what would be good for example and I understood it like when we took enough time for me to talk about it to understand it it it's still hard trust me but it wasn't as unreasonable to me like I think for me if things are just bluntly let out not bluntly not that she would say in a real mean matter, but if things are just like, then I will more than likely, I can't, I can't say have a meltdown because I don't know what I, like, what it is, but I will freak out, right, because it's like too fast and, and I can't seem to process it like fast enough, but once I have time to really, even if, even later, like, my aunt was talking to me the other day about paying half of the vet bill, for the dog, and that was last minute, and just without talking me through, like, why and everything, but now that I've, like, we haven't talked about it for a while, and it's still on my mind, I'm thinking, well, as much as I want that game, like, she is my dog, too, and it would help her, and it's only half, which I guess I worry in my head, like, I don't explain to her kind of what, when she says that, how it makes me feel, or why it makes me feel a certain way, because a lot of time I heard it was, like, hundred dollars or more for certain, like, things, and half is 50 and I don't have very much. And I only get so much every few months, you know, to, to kind of help me with things. I mean, as is it, it is reasonable what she's asking now that I've had time to think about it. And I will still explain to her how I feel, but I, I still will help her out. That way, at least we both have understanding and maybe next time she'll say, okay, it's about this much or so. Like, we can plan it out for the next time. For I'll understand and we'll know, like, the amount of money I have. And then we'll see how reasonable it is. Like, and work it out on our own terms. Like, like when things are just bluntly put out like that, I tend to overreact. I'll admit to that. But at that time, it's something I really can't control. Like, but when later on, I feel bad about it. Because at that time, I was in such a state, I overreacted and in an unreasonable matter. So if any of you are watching that, like my aunts or anyone that you do know how I feel, or if anyone else has this problem, maybe they can help out too. Like maybe they can explain to whoever it is that they tend to have a problem with. Like if, or if something happens to what, what doing something bruntly or abruptly, that's the best word, will make them fe you feel. And maybe you can learn, they can learn another way to handle it. Especially for those individuals who are younger than me, who are still in school, that have a lot of problems with their temper, for example. Like, I never, I never get violent. I never really curse badly. It's just more, I know this is embarrassing to admit, but it's more like a childish 
temper. And I will admit it to that. Like, and as I said, like, I don't know whether it's whatever disability I have that causes this or if it's just me. But I do feel it's sort of out of my control, too. So, I don't know. But anyway, guys, if I, I, I'm planning to go to the dollar store today, but I won't have much time to record because my aunt has an appointment. But I might record a little bit. If not, I'll tell you how I do after work, hopefully, if I remember. You know me, I usually say I'm going to do something and I forget to record it. Yeah, LOL. I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, guys, out of work and at the dollar store. Looking for just some things. All these hats are pretty cool. I already got a bag of Dreamers. Okay, am I right about a whole bunch of stuff being Easter related because it's Easter? I am sort of right. Well, sort of. Mm. <sighs> Trying to decide on something here. There really isn't very much. Hmm. Opening this for I said to my aunt I'd be as quick as I can, so Yay, found some, huh? There. Got that what this. you want, three? Yeah, and I got this toy. For me or you? Well, for you. And anything else I'm going to try to get myself. There actually isn't very much anyway. As I said, not surprised. Because I already got this guy here. So I thought even though it's pink, <laughs> might as well collect him if there's one there. I'm going out. All right, I'll be I'm out as quick. Out, All right, I'll be out as quick as I can. I'll, I'll be at the front. Okay. What? Wait up at the front for me. Okay. And I'll wait up there for you. Hmm. Oh. Ah. You know what? This is Lego. And then the big doll. I think. I think this is Lego or something similar. Mm. Hmm. What is this, anyways? Looks like Lego. Go. And I cannot reach there.
Hey guys, thought I would just end the vlog. Uh, like, this is for this week. I already started some footage for next week. What was I going to say? I might say it for the few days I didn't record. I don't think much really happened. Like, there was no work. I did do good on the day I did go to work. Yeah, I did. So, like, my arm was sore. But that is about it. Like, my arm was still sore when pressure, like I did stapling, did made it kind of worse. And the last few days I was kind of home and watching videos and not doing very much. I'll confess I had a very unproductive week that way. I did have a few bad days eating. I'll sort of say, like, maybe one bad day. I don't know if I used all my calories yesterday or if I did more. So, that's a little confusing, but I know for sure the day before I overdid my calories by at least 300 or more, I think. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But anyway, I did record the beginning of next week's vlog, because it's Easter, and happy Easter. Just early happy Easter. Because it is Sunday again. I said I had a little more activity, hopefully, in this vlog, you know, compared to me just talking all the time. Like... I'm trying to think of what to say. Like, I was trying to work on another countdown video for you guys. It'll come. I got a lot of the narration done. I just need to get the clips ready and together and stuff. So, yeah. That is pretty much about that. Because it's on another one of my obses current obsessions at the time, anyway. I don't know how long that obsession will last, but I thought I'd make something of it. So anyway, guys, have a happy Easter. Hopefully you'll see more Easter stuff in the next vlog. I'll see you in the next clip or video.